Good morning and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a bit of a different style video for me and this channel. Um, basically, a lot of people have requested a study with me style video and I've got to be honest, I've never watched one of those. I've never made one before. So I wanted to do something a little bit different and do a kind of cram with me. Um, I've got my first uni exam tomorrow and so I thought it would be um, a good way to kind of revise and make a video all in one go. So that's kind of the plan, I hope it works. The exam I have tomorrow is for my introduction to the novel module. I've got five exams in total this year. Uh, each one is three hours long and has three essays. I am basically bricking it, but we'll just skirt over that. What you missed this morning when I hadn't decided to film this video yet, um, I got up at seven o'clock, got showered and dressed and kind of like ready for the day. Then I went outside and read my book for a bit, um, just to kind of get get in the in the zone and went for some breakfast as well because I cannot work on an empty stomach. So I'm going to start the day by doing some revision for an exam I have next week which is a classics exam. I basically have to go over some like mythological beings, um, make some notes on those just because it's quite easy revision um, and it's quite like simple to do. So I quite like to kind of start my day by doing something straightforward and easy before we get into like the real complicated stuff. Yeah. Okay, so that is three more classical names from my list done, so I'm going to highlight those with the colour of victory. For this part of the exam, which is kind of a memory test, I have been condensing my notes down using the Companions Classical Literature, my own notes and the internet, um, and just kind of putting each of the mythological beings that I need to know about onto one of these pages. I have this whiteboard above my desk where I've been just tallying when I finish them, so that is another Hell yeah! The way that I use this is that every time I get another tally of five, I get to treat myself with a chocolate because uh, I'm literally five years old. Now I am going to focus the rest of the day on my novels exam, which is tomorrow. Um, so I'll show you what I've been doing to revise for that. So I've basically created this huge document with all of the um, novels in. So I've basically uh, divided them up into uh, each novel and then a plot summary, core themes, uh, character analysis, context, quotations, um, some critics, symbolism. I'm sitting here with like my lecture notes. Um, so like these are just some of the notes that I've made in lectures. Looking as well at the handouts that we've been given in lectures and just typing up kind of some additional notes from them because I've kind of like scrolled all over them. So over the course of the year for this module we have studied a total of 10 novels. Um, I have whittled this down to five to revise for the exam. Um, in the actual exam you have to write about a minimum of four and then I've got a backup just in case the question is hideous. So what I'm going to do now is finish off this document. Um, I've just got a few more notes to make on Wide Sargasso C um, and then that should be sorted so I'm going to crack on with that. So I have officially finished my document which compiles and collates all of the research that I've done. 8,754 words long and 22 pages, so I'm going to go and print this out. With that completed, I'm currently running six minutes ahead of schedule, which is very good because it means I can walk down to the library, print these off, get some fresh air. The library is actually like literally two doors down from where I live, so that's perfect. Okay, so these are the completed documents. Basically, I know that these look so boring. Like at the moment, they are just like all black and white. But my plan for later is to go over these each with a different color highlighter. The reason I haven't made uh, one of those documents for Truman Capote's In Cold Blood is because um, I've read it really recently. Speaking of which, I am now going to head outside and do some reading of this just to kind of refresh my memory. Time for a packed lunch. Um, I always plan at the beginning of the day and then tick off as I go, but I include things like taking a lunch break just because, I don't know, it feels like you're being more productive. The more things you can tick off, the better. Maybe that. Oh, so what I am going to do now is go through these um, summaries that I made and put the key widgets of information onto some flashcards. They come in like different colours, so I'm going to assign a different colour to each of the novels. Is anyone else such a perfectionist that you measure the flashcard to make sure that you cut it exactly in half? Who can relate? Whoa! 
I think I may have reached a new level of extra with uh, colour-coded flashcards with matching elastic bands. Um, however, I've just been distracted by this Kit Kat and suddenly that's all I can think about. Okay, so commence time lapse in three, two, one. <laughs> That is one set of flashcards done. This is my theory of condense and then condense again. You know, I've condensed all of my notes uh, from lectures and stuff into this document and then I'm condensing that into literally these few flashcards. So just to show you the kind of things that I would put on a flashcard, um, this one says, when was the Slavery Abolition Act passed? And it's just 1833, nice and big, so it's easy to remember. Um, and then uh, like, what is symbolic about the parrot? And then I just have three different ways that the parrot could be symbolic. Basically just like small little widgets of information that would be kind of handy to have in my arsenal of knowledge in the exam. For now I'm going to go over the core themes that could come up in the paper. I um, I basically have this document with um, all of the different themes and uh, past questions that have been asked in exams and then I've kind of highlighted the ones that I would probably be, uh, like be my go-to to answer on. I'm just going to go through these, brainstorm how I would answer them and which texts I would uh, use and uh, try not to cry. Basically what I've got here is some lecture handouts, um, my own personal like research and notes which I'm now going to similarly condense down um, and try and memorise some kind of critics perspectives and all of that kind of thing that I can reference in the exam. Yeah, that's next on my list of things to do. Do excuse my truly horrendous handwriting and this little fan that I've got going on here but um, basically uh, from my notes I've been kind of uh, just condensing it down and writing some key quotes. Yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing and the phone is going <laughs> in a box of Cuckoo Pops on top of a cupboard. I know my own limits. My Jane Eyre flashcards are complete and I'm now almost finished with my uh, notes on Emma. Um, I might go to a study room after dinner but for now I need some grub. The sun has set, it's time to go home. This looks like a military operation, and I am a fatality of war. <laughs> okay, so I am back from the library. I have eaten my body weight in what's it, and I'm ready to do the last little bit. All I know is this was me at the beginning of the year. And this is me now. Time now to go through these notes, um, not for the last time, but I'm going to give them a good go just so I can mostly recall them. Darling, you sent me. I you. Okay, so um, what I've done is I went through them all the first time just to recap, and then the second time I've gone through them, and if I have got it right, I've kind of like quizzed myself, and if I've got it right, it's gone into one pile, and if I've got it wrong, it's gone into this pile. Um, I got two wrong, so I need to go over those, um, as those are obviously the things that I'm not great at. So, I've finished doing my flashcards, uh, I just sat and watched some YouTube videos for a little bit just to chill out. Um, I'm now going to get into bed and read my book and then go to sleep. Try and have a good night's sleep and not panic too much. I'm not going to lie, I am quite nervous about tomorrow just because it's my first kind of uni exam, I really don't know what to expect. But I feel relatively prepared um, and fingers crossed all goes to plan. Who knows? One thing that I do know is that I'm very grateful that you've watched this video, so thank you very much. Smooth segue, Jack. Um, thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a like if you liked it, um, and subscribe for more. Also, I've been nominated in the Blogosphere Awards as Best Lifestyle Influencer, which is just madness. So if you'd like to vote, it would mean the world to me. Um, it, yeah, that would be incredible. I'll leave the link in the crotch box down below and also in the comments. Have a lovely day, good luck with your exams, and I'll see you very, very soon. <laughs> Bye.